guy is going to give me his di <laughs> his divine protein shake. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So since my time filming with Connor Murphy, I've gotten plenty of DMs of people asking, is the spiritual side of Connor all a skit? Is it a prank? Is it actually legit? A lot of people think it's a skit. So we'll get to that in just a second. But Connor Murphy uploaded a video titled Connor Murphy's first time with a guy where I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know what was gonna happen in the video. I've already watched it. But basically to summarize, and thank you Connor so, so much for not including me in this video, like waiting for after we filmed to conduct this video with this guy, Nikolai. Look, I don't even know how to make this not cringe or say this without cringing, but Connor and Nikolai go on to talk about ingesting each other's skin for whatever benefits. I don't care what benefit in the world anything is ever gonna give me. I am not ingesting another dude's if it guaranteed me to put on 50 pounds of lean muscle mass, I'm not doing it. Like what amount of muscle gains is actually worth that? I wanna know. And you, you feel like lethargic, a lot of times you wanna sleep. That's usually what people use as a remedy for sleeping. So if you're understanding something like that and it's leaving your body, like you, you have to realize that it's gonna, if you, if you ingest it, some of that, that energy is gonna come back to you. So here's Nikolai's theory for why you should be ingesting your own kids, someone else's kids, is because if it's leaving your body, let's say you're doing it as your nighttime routine to relax, and maybe you feel lethargic after, you need to replenish your levels, get your energy back, because energy leaving the body is the same as energy coming into the body. Now look, I did pre Masada yoga with Connor Murphy on this rug right here. And I just wanna emphasize again, thank you Connor for not coming up with this idea while you were at my house. Now look, I love Connor, it's all in good fun. We lost him. If there was ever a campaign for not ever experimenting or trying drugs, I'm sending people this video. So we're like-minded individuals and so I hit him up on Instagram and it was, de it was definitely a, um, an interesting pitch, but here we are, and I am grateful that you are um, giving me some of this energy. Boys, I just can't. Imagine being in Connor's position where he says he reached out to Nikolai in the Instagram DMs, coming up with this idea to film. How, how do you even send this DM? I don't even send that DM to females that I'm extremely attracted to that I would rate a 10 out of 10. With the opening line, let me be in jest, you know, a white milky fluid that you excrete out of your body. Nikolai is going to give me his di <laughs> his divine protein shake. Yes. And I laugh when I'm saying that because it is just so crazy, but I mean, that's a that's the best way to put it. And once again, boys, like I skipped over the whole part where they're talking about like the potential benefits behind doing this. I don't care. Anyone I know, I am not ingesting your divine protein shake. And I wanted to try DMT or ayahuasca, but after seeing what happened to Connor Murphy, I don't know if I'm ever gonna cross that road. I'm actually doing this for the benefits and not just for my, you know, own pleasure, right? I am not attracted to guys at all. And neither are you. Yeah. Both just straight heterosexual males. <laughs> now, I know, right? Now, I wish. Connor Murphy and Nikolai state that they are heterosexual. Cool. That's awesome. Like, I know girls that refuse to swallow, but yet Connor's out here willingly doing it with guys that he's shooting a DM to. So, how is this going to go? Well, I have this beautiful chalice of the gods here, uh, perfectly fit for what's yeah. going on. So, essentially, um, yeah, I'll go out of the room and Nikolai will put his protein shake of the gods, his divine protein shake in this, and then I will, I have this, uh, this fruit, this little fruit blend, put it in there, make it taste nice and awesome, make this awesome little protein shake, this, uh, protein shake of testosterone and spermidine and nerve growth factor is going to be incredible, and yeah, I'm going to drink it, and this is going to be on OnlyFans. This, uh, Protein shake of testosterone and spermidine and nerve growth factor is gonna be incredible. And yeah, I'm gonna drink it. So yes, you guys all heard that correctly. Um, I'm gonna actually show you real quick how to make a divine protein shake 
based on this tutorial of Connor Murphy. You're gonna grab a cup. You're gonna take this cup and have another male ejaculate into it. Now that your HGH and Trembolone is in the cup, you are gonna take your, you know, fruity cocktail mix, throw it in there. Here's to spirituality. Luckily for us, he doesn't drink it in the YouTube video. I think he did it for the YouTube guidelines. I feel like I just need like a cleanse. After watching that, what happened to like drinking a protein shake? Maybe taking some BCAs. When did people start resorting to taking another dude's ejaculate and ingesting it? Now, if that's a recreational thing, Cool, by all means, if that's what floats your boat, that's awesome, live your life how you want. So this jumps into the point, is it all a skit? Is Connor Murphy actually like this? Is he actually ingesting this? When he was here at my house, is he out there? Is he actually a normal guy? When Connor Murphy officially, I guess, lost his mind when I made my initial videos and many other people did as well, I thought it was all a skit. Connor Murphy is always good at going viral on the internet, getting people to talk about him. So when we made the idea, he was in my DMs, no, he wasn't asking to drink my semen, but when he was in my DMs asking for a collab, or we were talking about a collab, I told him to come over to Vegas, come stay with me, we'd film some content, I would get to know him and actually see what's going on. Before him arriving at my door, I thought 100% it was gonna be a skit. No doubt in my mind. I was like, there's no way this is legit, there's no way Connor Murphy actually is like this, because I knew the old Connor Murphy, Back in 2017, I met Connor Murphy for the first time. I knew him in 2018 when I believe he was still <laughs> what you would stereotype as normal. But a lot has changed. So Connor Murphy gets here, we're talking, and I soon am starting to find out it's not a skit. It's real. It's as real as it gets. Coming from me, guys, I'm not bullshitting you. I'm not saying this just to let Connor's skit go further. Unless he is the best actor of all time, I'm talking better than Leonardo DiCaprio, better than any actor that is on the planet. He had me fooled. But I don't think it's a skit because we would be talking and I, I'd still like Connor, don't get me wrong. He's a great dude, super nice, super giving. We would be talking and he'd be like staring off as I'm driving into the distance. Not like you're just kind of looking at the surroundings. He would be looking off into the distance meditating while we're talking or he'd be doing his sun gazing. He'd be talking about, you know, spiritual things, which is great. That's awesome. If you're happy with that, so be it. Now, what I do believe is a skit though, is all the over the top videos and everything that's being done. So like the Prima Sati Yoga with, for instance, when we were on my rug with, the, you know, I believe it's four girls doing the yoga. He wants to do it to draw more attention to it. Does that mean he doesn't do yoga? No, Connor, I believe, is very spiritual. He likes the yoga, he likes everything encompassing that. But he uses the skits, for instance, Nikolai, the girls, everything to draw more attention to it because he makes his life on social media. That's how he makes his money. That's what his career is based off of. That's how he draws traffic to his OnlyFans or whatever he's doing. He can't be jobless and on the street, or I mean, I, I guess he could but he doesn't want to be. He wants to continue to make money doing what he's doing on social media. So it is not a skit, it is real. Unless like I mentioned, Connor just came and stayed with me for the day. Luckily I didn't hear a, you know, at my door with, hey, I'm needing a divine protein shake. And you know, if you hadn't watched that video, I'm sorry that I just put you through that and you need to think about that or envision that. This Casa is a divine protein shake free establishment there will never be a divine protein shake here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this whole divine protein shake, what you think of it. Maybe you watched the video, maybe you have an opinion. Just wanna say something, let me know. If for some reason you were watching and you were not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Make sure to be careful. And I'm just gonna end with some friendly advice that no divine protein shake in the world, even if it is from The Rock himself, is gonna give you any type of benefit you are looking for.